What's going on guys? Coach Show, your 2019 Strongman National Champion coming at you with 10 row variations that I use, I program for my clients to get you a big, strong, thick, and juicy back. Let's dive on into it. What is going on guys? Coach Joe here, your 2019 Strongman National Champion. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna be covering row variations. So I've done a video in the past actually covering uh, row variations that are gonna strengthen your deadlift and I'll link that above right here. But this is gonna be my top 10 all time favorite row variations that you can use for strength building, hypertrophy, aesthetics, you name it. We're gonna dive on into it. But before we do, make sure that you like the video, okay? Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I have coming out weekly. So whether you guys are a strongman athlete, powerlifter, bodybuilder, crossfitter, you just wanna look, feel good, get stronger, you need to be doing some sort of rowing and pulling in your programming. If you're not, you are missing a ton of pounds as well as muscle uh, that's just gonna help you look and feel better overall. Okay guys, so the way I'm gonna break this down is we're gonna go heavy, medium and light. So we're gonna talk about the top row variations that I like to use when I go heavy, the top row variations I like to go when I have about medium intensity weight, and then the lighter row variations that I use when I have higher volume. All right, so let's start off with the heavies. All right, so starting off with the heavies, the number one that I always go to, and it should be a staple in your training, is gonna be obviously the standard bent over barbell row. When it comes to the row for me personally, I don't like to use too much body English and I like to try to keep it as strict as possible, uh, but it is a nice variation that you can go decently heavy with. Now the second row variation, and this is something that I've added in more recently, has been the deadlift row. So I have been all about on the pursuit of increasing my deadlift, especially for strongman, and a great variation has been the deadlift row. So this is actually when you get into your typical deadlift setup, and you actually kind of bring the weight down as if you're getting close to taking it off the floor, but you're really gonna feel your hamstrings involved with this, and it's gonna light up the posterior chain uh, typically more than you would feel with a standard bent over barbell row. Typically for this deadlift variation, I like to use the momentum uh, when I'm coming up from the bottom and give myself a little bit extra uh, pull so I can go a little bit heavier. And I have found that these have really helped increase the strength of my posterior chain as well as my back for my deadlifts. My last variation for a heavy row, and this has been a staple in my programming for years, especially as a weightlifter, is the Penlay row. Rest in peace, brother. Now, unlike the other variations, the Penlay row starts from the ground and goes back to the ground every single time. You wanna keep your chest, I would say, a little bit more lean over or bent over in this position, uh, and you wanna be as explosive as possible. So typically for this variation, you're gonna go as heavy as you can, uh, and you're gonna be able to push the most amount of weight because of the explosive nature of this row variation. So those are my top three go-to row variations whenever I wanna lift super heavy amounts of weight, and typically they're going to be at my strength program towards the beginning of the week. All right guys, so now let's talk about my medium weight row variations. So the first one on my list for medium intensity is gonna be the T-bar row. I really love doing the T-bar row because I feel like this really helps increase the strength in my upper back, uh, which is something I use a lot with in strongman and a lot of the big compound movements. The second medium row variation that I have on my list is the close grip row. And if you are looking for aesthetics and trying to sculpt the mid part of your back, this is a great variation to use. Uh, and I've also found that it's kind of helped strengthen that part of my back, especially involved with atlas stones. Now I know doing atlas stones is gonna get you better at doing atlas stones, but when I'm doing a lot of volume and more hypertrophy block, that's something I like to include to just strengthen that portion of my back. The last one for my medium row is gonna be a single arm row. This is just a staple. You've probably done tons of these and you can't neglect them. Uh, typically, I like putting these later in the week, maybe on a second pull day, uh, because I like to work in that medium intensity, uh, but they are just something that have always been a staple in my training for years. So make sure you guys are doing some sort of single arm row uh, with a dumbbell. Okay, for the last category, which is gonna be light row variations, they're basically all gonna be single arm variations. And I'm gonna rattle through them very quickly. There are tons more different ones out there, but these are my favorite that you guys should try. First, we're just gonna do a single arm landmine row variation. And I like this because it turns the handle uh, a different way, kind of having the same grip that you would on a barbell versus if you were doing a dumbbell row. I also like doing this because the end of the barbell is a little bit fatter, so you get to work your grip as well. 
After that, we're gonna do a single arm seated cable row. The third one is gonna be a seated close grip cable row. Now the last one is just a fun one you can try, but it's a single arm row variation with a cannonball attachment that Rogue makes and other brands make. But basically it's just gonna work your grip strength as well. And in strongman grip strength does play a big role in what we do. So there you guys have it. The way I categorized these row variations and how I went about it was in terms of the spectrum of specificity. So the ones at the top, I'm gonna to be able to go as heavy as possible and they're gonna help translate over to sport. The ones all the way at the bottom are gonna be more generalized. They're not gonna be as specific to my sport. Often I'm gonna be doing these uh, just for pure aesthetics, you know, putting on uh, high volume and muscle but make it work for you. You know, you guys can play around with these and use them in all different ways, uh, but I just wanna give you guys some variations that I found very useful in my training and that I program for my clients and the top 10 that I've noticed I've used over the years of my training. You can also throw things in like different attachments. You can do band tension, you can do tempo, make it slower, make it longer, add a pause in. Tons of different variables to play with, with these variations, but just have some fun with it. Now, after I've rambled on, I'm interested to hear what are your top three row variations, and you can break it up by heavy, medium, and light down in the comment section. That would be super cool. If you guys aren't a member of the Iron Lines Facebook group, you absolutely should consider joining. It is a very cool community of people who are interested in strength sports. So powerlifting, strongman, weightlifting, whatever. And it's just a place where we can all talk about this kind of stuff. You get free form checks. I put out articles as well as videos that are specific to that group, answering a lot of people's questions, uh, but we would love to have you. So if you can head over to Facebook, request to be in that group and we'll accept you. That's pretty much all I had guys. Those are my top 10 row variations. Hopefully you guys like that kept it short, sweet, to the point, and you can implement them into your training. But like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you give this video a like if you liked it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell one more time so that you stay up to date with everything that we have going on. But until then, be a lean, mean, strike machine, and I'll catch up with you next time. Peace.